Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. On behalf of all of us, welcome as we gather with Denise and Chari to celebrate the 50th wedding anniversary. I guess the celebration is going to go on all day and night, I think. So we're starting a good start at the beginning here at one o'clock. So we come together, ask God's blessing upon them and the family. And so we begin our celebration in the usual way for the Mass just calling to mind our sins, asking the Father's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated the right hand of the Father and the seed for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, for the sake of the good works they have done through the long life together, look kindly on this husband and wife, Charlie and Denise, with the children have brought to life and to faith. And as you see the beginnings of their love by a wonderful sacrament, so bless their fruitful age now. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and you of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's peace be seated for our scripture readings. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. In your sight, the whole world is a grain of sand, barely heavy enough to tip a pair of scales a drop of dew on the ground in the morning. You are powerful enough to do anything, 
but you are merciful to everyone. You overlook our sins and give us time to repent. You love everything that exists. You do not despise anything you have made. If you had not liked it, you would have not made it in the first place. How could anything last if you did not want it to? How could it endure if you had not created it? You have allowed all to exist, O oh Lord, because it is yours and you love every living thing. Your immortal spirit is in every one of us. And so you gently correct those who sin against you. You remind them of what they are doing and warn them about it so that they may abandon their evil ways and put their trust in you. The word of the Lord. Slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. How good, how good is the Lord to righteous in all his ways and holy in all his deeds the lord is close to all who call him who call on him in truth how reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a responding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. 
It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. As the Father has loved me, so I also love you. Love one another as I love you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, this is a wonderful occasion to come to celebrate and give thanks on the 50th anniversary of Denise and Charlie. It is a wonderful occasion when the first thing people want to do on a big occasion is give thanks. That is a great attitude to have, an attitude of gratitude in life, to come and say 50 years of marriage, what a wonderful accomplishment. And to look back at all the memories and stories of those 50 years and they say, thank you, God, for all the blessings and graces, and continue to bless us. So we have the blessing today at the end of the service on Denise and Chari and the family. On an occasion like this, I always feel that the wrong person is up here speaking. That it should be Charlie and Denise, because there are so many memories and stories of 50 years. That's a long time ago. Some of you don't know how long they, a little bit of jeopardy. Do you know how long I know Denise? Anybody? No, you don't have to answer. <laughs> I know Denise from before she was married. Would you believe it? 50 years ago, when I was at Mount Carmel with the Castaneda family, it goes back a long, long time. And then even knowing Charlie, kind of a bond there, because I went from resurrection as pastor here, went over to our leader perpetual help church in Scottsdale. And the Morales family are very, were very involved in the founding of our leader perpetual help church lived right in the old mission there, downtown Scottsdale. So my history goes back a long time, not only being here at Resurrection and coming again, of course, meeting Denise and Charlie all over again. And it's wonderful, the three priests are here today to congratulate you and be, give you a blessing also. Father Simon, the current pastor, Father Romy, the pastor, just a previous pastor, and will come back and be here to celebrate with you. I think that reflecting on the scripture readings, that Denise and Charlie has chosen there, they're wonderful. You all know the first one, 1 Corinthians, because that's the one that's read at most weddings. 
And it's a great ideal. And when people get married, they're full of love and enthusiasm. And they hear that reading and say, that's a great reading. Love is patient, is kind. It understands, it supports one another. But you know what? That's a very difficult scripture to live. Because we all know we're very human. We go through many ups and downs in life, many different attitudes. And there are times that it's very hard to live that, those commands of the, the scriptures. But they're, they're, they've chosen them today because they're perennial, not only at the beginning of marriage, during the 50 years, but even going to 60, 70 years marriage. That they're important. Do we need blessings? Do we be able to live those challenges, kindness, and compassion, supporting of one another as we go forward? To remind ourselves of those scripture readings of what God asks us to do. And he's there to help us to the celebration of the Eucharist, to our prayer life. And for us, all those emotions are with us today. Emotions of gratitude, emotions of memories of sadness of times that have passed, people who were present 50 years ago and not long were long here. To think of those times, sadness are gone. Gratitude, to give thanks to the people who supported you along the way. The gratitude to the children, grandchildren, grandchild. All these things, and also the act of forgiveness. But you know, to say, people over the years, all of us hurt people at times. And to be able to occasion like this, reflecting in the past, to be say, I forgive everybody. I think that's a very hard thing to do in life for all of us. To be able to say, even those who have died, if we've hurt them in any way, we forgive you. This is a great occasion in prayer. All those emotions that are with us today on occasion like this, they're the uppermost in our minds. And I hope Charlie and Denise, that this evening, even though they're not speaking at this time, but speak this evening and give some memories and stories that they have of those 50 years. There's bound to be some great stories, things that were seemed so difficult at that time, and now you look back at them and laugh. That they'll be able to laugh at things that happen in life, how we took them so serious at the time and they weren't really all that serious, how we could have dealt with them in a better way. To look back in a sense of gratitude and if we hurt anybody, we all hurt people during life, do we say, I forgive them? To have that attitude in our heart, attitude of gratitude and forgiveness over the years. And that's kind of part of what that scripture is about today. And of course, what makes all this possible is love. The love we have for one another. As we heard in the gospel, Father Rome, we said, God loves us. And it's not so much that we love God, but that he loves us. You know, that's a tremendous support in our lives to know that we are loved. I think that's a great gift. And to know that God loves us. I know that's the decent chart. That's one of the messages that I want to get out today. That no matter what we do, we get forgiveness from God. He's full of mercy and love. And for us to know God loves us. What a tremendous thing that is. We may go through life and have many questions, but to know that we're loved is a great gift. And that's what happens in marriage. Not that you love one another, but to know that someone loves you and is there for you. Maybe there's ups and downs of life, the difficulties that come, but yet love is there. Love is all that's there. And that is the important thing, to have that gift of love and to inspired by the Gospels, inspired and strengthened by the Eucharist to be able to do that. Even the first reading today, talking about that God is awful, merciful and forgiving, always there calling us. And that's, of course, the final thought. As we go through life and all these difficulties and the memories, God is the one who loves and God walks with us. That is a great strength and a great help as we go through life. And we reflect on that today with Denise and Charlie as they give thanks. All these things affect all of us. The same things that they go through in their own life, we all go through the same emotions, characters, and aspirations, all the things that have happened to us. And we can reflect on them. But particularly today we gather to give a blessing to Denise and Charlie, to thank, thanksgiving for the years that have gone past, for all that's happened, for all the people who helped them along the way. But we give them a blessing now upon them and their children who are gathered here, Monica, Carlos, Ezra, that they'll be part of this, who they are today, the family today. And so as we gather, it's great to know God loves us, they love one another, hopefully we too will love one another. As that's the very end of the gospel today, love one another, as I have loved you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen.
And let us stand, please, for our intercessions. As we gather today to celebrate Denise and Charlie's 50th wedding anniversary, we give thanks and turn to the source of all love, our Heavenly Father. That God's spirit of love continues to sustain Denise and Charlie and deepen their love and respect for one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's spirit will touch all here present and those who are unable to be with us at this Eucharistic celebration, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's spirit of wisdom will guide and protect all married couples and those preparing for marriage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let all the faithfully departed in the Morales and Castaneda families, especially Kenneth Castaneda, find eternal rest in the loving arms of our Heavenly Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's gentle spirit bring joy to all those who have enriched our family lives. We ask for his protection for our children, Carlos and Monica, our grandson, Ezra, our nieces and nephews, all our loving family members and our parish community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pause a moment to add our own intentions in silence. God of love and joy, listen to the prayers of our family gathered on this very special occasion. We offer them in loving spirit to our Heavenly Father. Make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the presentation of gifts. No, I don't need that. I don't need that. Grateful for the life you give us, thankful for your Holy Son, joyful in your spirit flowing over all, O oh God of love. and holy living Lord. Even when we doubt your presence, you are faithful to your word. Grateful for the life you give us, thankful for your holy Son, joyful in your spirit flowing. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O God, to receive these offerings, presented in thanksgiving for your servants, Charlie and Denise, who have lived as one in true fidelity for these many years, and who ask of your bounty all the blessings of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, 
Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ Jesus. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed a holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rise of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly employ by the same Spirit, graciously you make holy these gifts be brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. Go ahead. May this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, Edward his assistant, 
the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who we are pleasing to you, and that passing from this life, give kind and thanks to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is yours. That's okay. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Then, the Father's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Sing. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, and graciously grant her peace and you in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your and now let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. We have the communion right. If you'd like to participate in the blessing, you're not receiving communion today, please approach the altar with your, cross your chest with your arms and receive a blessing if you're not receiving communion. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
El que come mi cuerpo y bebe mi sangre permanece en mí y yo en él. If you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, we remain in me and I in you. loving sacrifice bread from heaven solace for the weary bread from heaven taste of paradise el que come mi cuerpo y bebe mi sangre permanece en mi y yo en el If you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you remain in me and I in you. Plan de vida, esperanza de los pobres. Plan de vida, fortalece la aflicción. Pan del cielo, el consuelo del que sufre. Pan del cielo, alegría del corazón. El que come mi cuerpo y bebe mi sangre, permanece en mí y yo en él. If you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood you remain in me and I in you Now I'll ask Denise and Char to come forward and the children and grandchild. As we gather today, we ask the Lord to look graciously on Denise and Charlie, that they have been joined together some 50 years ago. God has preserved their union between them. They continue to bless them and their family. And so I ask everybody to extend their hands over them for the blessing. Let us pray. May the peace of Christ 
dwell always in your hearts and your home. May you have true friends who stand by you both in sorrow and in joy. May you be ready with help and consolation for all those who come to your need. And may the blessings promised to compassion descend in abundance on your home. May my God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us congratulate Denise and Charlie. <laughs> you, may, you may kiss your bride. Charlie? <laughs> Just stay there. Stay there. <laughs> Let's all stand, please, for a final prayer. Let us pray. <clears throat> Having tasted the delights of your table, we entreat you, O Lord, to keep this married couple, Charlie and Denise, safe and holy in the years ahead until you welcome them both to the fullness of your days, to your heavenly banquet, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This celebration of the Mass has ended. We will continue to celebrate with Denise and Charlie all during the day. God bless you all. Peace be with you. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Just stay there. Stay there. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Sana, 